you would have read or heard about the Karnataka hijab row in all probability. So what happened? To put it simply, some educational institutes barred female students from entering hijab and the state government backed them. Depending on political ideology, the move was supported by some and opposed by some. But there was no such thing as communal tensions or violence involved. Yet suddenly the hijab row has been hijacked and communalized. So who is giving it a communal spin? Hi and welcome, you're watching TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Tanya and in this video, I'll tell you about the factors that are hijacking the hijab row and making it communal. The hijab row in Karnataka is escalating. What started as a controversy over the ban on wearing hijab to classrooms soon took the shape of stone pelting and lightly charged incidents at pre-university colleges in Karnataka. Now, the Karnataka government has ordered the closure of high schools and colleges for three days. So, a simple controversy has turned into communal tensions of the scale and the state educational institutes have to suffer. The question is how did we come down to this situation? The only question that should have been considered was whether the educational institutions have the right to determine uniform codes on their campuses. But unfortunately, reports have given a communal angle. A Twitter user pointed out how Janta Ka reporter published a report titled Karnataka's brave Muslim girl shouts Allahu Akbar to counter terrorists chanting Jai Shri Ram to mock hijab. The tweet has gone viral, the report has now been changed and the headline now reads Karnataka's brave Muslim girl shouts Allahu Akbar to counter chanting of Jai Shri Ram by Hindu students. Meanwhile, the issue is getting politicized in educational campuses in Karnataka. Students of IDSG College in Chikmagalur district repeatedly came wearing blue shawls and raised Jai Bheem slogans in support of the female students wearing the hijab. Now, this sounds rather strange. Why is caste division being linked up with the hijab controversy when the two things don't have even a remote connection? Two people, Rajab and Abdul Majid, have been reportedly arrested in Kundapur in Karnataka's Udupi district. They were allegedly carrying lethal weapons during a protest at the government college over the hijab row. They formed part of a group of five people spotted around the protest site. ST Siddalingappa, the additional SP of Udupi police, said two have been arrested, three are absconding. We are trying to trace them. They had one knife and they were not locals. They are from Gangoli. They have been sent to judicial custody. The case is under investigation. There is a clear attempt to exploit the hijab row and instigate widespread communal violence in the state's educational campuses. And when educational campuses in Karnataka are already witnessing protests, acts of violence and communal tensions, what was needed was an appeal for maintaining peace and calm. However, there has been some mischievous reports and fake news about a student in a college in Shivamoga climbing up a pole and hoisting a saffron flag in place of the national flag of India, the tricolor. This was a perfect opportunity for left liberal Twitter users to take their usual anti-RSS digs and claim that the RSS doesn't respect the national flag. Some even expressed shock over how Hindu students replace the tricolor with the saffron flag. Yet, as it turns out, the local authorities have said that the tricolor is hoisted on that pole at the campus of government, first grade college at Shivamoga only on Republic Day and Independence Day. There was no flag hoisted on the day when a student climbed the pole and hoisted a saffron flag. The hijab row was always meant to be a mere controversy. It wasn't a communal issue, but many twists and turns were given to the controversy and it is now being turned into a full-fledged communal issue.